So one of our case studies looks at the development, the gendered innovation is developing pregnant crash test dummies. We've had crash test dummies since World War II. They were initially developed by the um, Air Force uh, and men, it, the first crash test dummy was a male because it was men who were rejected from jet seats. And so that makes sense. And gradually then the crash test dummies come into civil society and they went into car testing. And so uh, we first had, everything was based on the mid-size male body and people eventually thought, oh, well, what about women? So they made a woman crash test dummy. They finally made children crash test dummies, baby crash test dummies. But until, if you can believe it, not until the late 1990s did we get a pregnant crash test dummy. And we know that even in a very small accident, say 35 miles per hour, that seat belt really impinges upon the fetus and can damage, um, you know, a, an unborn child, a, a baby, way, you know, that is uh, riding in the car. So um, this was a really great gendered innovation to, it's just a computer simulation, but still you can see the force on the pregnant belly. So what does this all mean? Um, we have been, uh, so I think that, so we reported on the gendered innovation of the pregnant crash test dummy, and I think that, that car companies around the world are using these now. 